it is Friday morning and we are on our way to the boat. Tiger has a new way of traveling. He is no longer sitting in his box because that's what he didn't like too much. And now he can sit out of the box but still on his towel and he does that very good. So we're almost there. We left the highway already and when we're at the boat I'll give you a boat tour this time. Hello everyone, this is Rob, I am Jauke and this is our cat Tiger. While we still have our day jobs, we sail as often as possible in our 9 meter Colibri series. Sailing the Dutch waters, we visit lots of interesting places and tell you all there is to know. It may not be a tropical climate, but it is still very pretty. So please sail with us and explore the Netherlands. Good morning everyone. It is Saturday and I am going to give you a long overdue tour of Sirius. And I'm going to begin at the outside of the boat. Sirius is a Colibri 900. That means it's a 9 meter or 30 foot boat. It is a van der Stap design. And as you can see, well, that's what I think. It looks very fast. And it is fast. It's a wooden boat, wood epoxy based. And it's very light. It's about 2.5 tons, plus the extra weight that we carry on. It's fractionally rigged, as you can see. The mast is about 15 and a half meters above sea level. We have a, an, a hatch where we store. Where we store the propane bottle and some extra lines and an anchor line. The anchor is not in the anchor locker because we have a huge anchor that doesn't fit in here. So we have a railing installed. You can see that in an earlier episode and I really love it. It's nice and white. It's much, much nicer than the old uh, bare steel ones that we had. We have one hatch with a mosquito net on top of it. All the lines go from the mast all the way back to the cockpit. So we can use all the lines without leaving the cockpit and that's really nice. We also have a reefing system that goes all the way back to the cockpit. Our sail covers are really old and they are really bad at the moment. But we have ordered some new ones. They will be grey. Nice grey color that matches the deck, hopefully. There's the skipper. Hi Rob. Hi. <laughs> Doing a tour. Ah. I just thought that all the lines go back to the cockpit so we can so we can steer without leaving the cockpit. Yeah. Would you also we... explain about the gender of this boat? <laughs> well tell me. Uh well see for sailing to escort. Oh, that's the story. Yeah, basically. Well, and here we have our 
navigational equipment. It's not turned on at the moment, but I think you all know the drill. And we have some Windex things. Here's the depth and the speed. And on the other side, we have the wind and our old fashioned compass. Well, that leaves us. Oh, we have some big holes over there. And a lot of spider poop. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's dirty. So, if we get waves over the top of the boat, the, the water can flow out easily. We have a, an escape ladder. <laughs> Oh, isn't that what it is? No. <laughs> if you want to escape, you just jump overboard. <laughs> and of course, we have cockpit lockers. This one, the front one, contains our diesel heater and some spare fuel and a fuel tank and all that goes with it for the toilet and the black water tank. Yeah, of course. And then we have another locker. And here is a bucket with cleaning <laughs> cleaning utensils. And underneath it, or behind it, it's our huge anchor. And we store a foldable table here and our Cleats. So mushrooms are GPS antennas. One is the AS GPS antenna and one is for the old uh, Faruna, which uh, still thinks it's somewhere in the 1990s at the moment. <laughs> because it's an old version. So that's gonna go. Now we have the, the uh, main traveler all the way at the back of the boat. That has some advantages for trimming out the main sail. Yeah, compared to the uh, Hans next to us. Well, he has it. Yeah, the boat next to it has the traveler. Yeah, in the middle of the boom. So there, yeah. at the middle of the boom, so you cannot trim your boom downwards so as much as we can. Well, I think that was the outside of the boat. Let's go inside. Yeah. Can you open the door for me? It's three sliding hatches sliding into the doorway. Here is our VHF. The old one. The old one. We have a new one at the moment, but we have to install it yet. It's quiet, it doesn't work anymore. But it's are loose and flaky. It's definitely yeah. ready for replacing. It was 150 euros, so yeah. <laughs> so we are stepping into the boat onto the motor hatch. Because that is where the motor is. Can you open the hatch? Sure. I can tell you a lot about it. It's uh, blue. Yeah, it's blue and it's not too big. Yeah. It's noisy. A little bit. <laughs> Well, we tell you about it in an, in an earlier episode, how we maintain our diesel engine. So there you can see it running and hear it running. Link in the description. Yes. So that's where we, we have the engine. Nicely tucked away. And when you step into the boat, you enter the kitchen. We have a gas stove with two burners. We have a nice little oven that we really use a lot for baking off bread and making oven dishes, casseroles. There's some room for glasses, 
and my little herb collection. We have a self-built fridge. Rob built it himself. That's very deep and very comfortable. With plastic baskets in it. So I can grab out a basket and get to the stuff that is underneath it. And it gets very cold. The control mechanism is here. It's now 2.7 degrees Celsius, so that's very cold. So here we have storage. And underneath it I store my pots and pans. Okay, on to the other side. That's the toilet with a sliding door. Oh, oops. We'll get back to that later. We have a one cabin boat. It says it has room to sleep six people. So that's two in the V berth, two on the couches. And we have a bedroom. Well, it's more bed. Yeah, are you ready? <laughs> It's more bed than room, but it's very cozy. It's a, it's really nice space. I sleep on this side. And Rob sleeps on the other side. And we have a hatch over there. And that is where we store our clothes when we are on a journey. We don't have a lot of closet room in the boat. We have one, well, quite big closet. It's my kitchen cabinet. That's where we store our daily used goods. Coffee, tea, candy, sweets. Not even beer. Mm. No, the beer is in the fridge. So, and then we walk half a meter to the front. <laughs> We're in a whole different area now. We have our navigation, our navigation table that we rarely use as a navigation table because underneath it is the cat litter box. Which you don't smell, by the way. No, you don't smell it at all. The table can be opened, and there are our old-fashioned cards and our important documents. Honey, they're paper charts. They're not old-fashioned. They're new ones. <laughs> well, they are new, but <laughs> it's the old man, the old way. <laughs> <laughs> there is our electrical board with all the switches. Rob made it himself with a picture of Celius on it. It's really cool. This is the cabinet where the fuse boxes are. Electrical stuff. Electrical stuff and all the spare parts you can <laughs> probably need. A nice detail is the engraved Colibri logo. And then we have the living area with a nice large table that can fold up and down. On this side too. That's my space. That's Rob's space. And we have some cabinets over here to store small things. And even behind the pillows there's room for storage. Well, you're probably used to storage in boats and familiar with how much storage you can can have in small spaces but I like the, the way everything's tucked away we are going to build the starter battery in this one it's already, it's already there. there but it's not ready yet it, it does work but it's not finished and all the other batteries are going to go in here but that's for a later episode 
spoiler alert, I'm going to convert Sirius to lithium batteries. Yes, and we're going to make a nice episode about it. I have probably a few. Oh, by the way. So, and onwards to the forward section of the boat. It's a V-berth. And it is not very comfortable to sleep in with two persons. But if you are alone, it's it's a nice comfy bed. We have Tiger Snack Corner. And underneath this, surprise, surprise, is also loads of storage space with a hatch. Goes all the way down to the bottom. And even in front of that is also a locker. And we also have a cat on board, Tiger. And I think you're wondering by now where he is. Well, let me show you. He has a nice little hiding place. He likes to go all the way to the front of the boat. Hi, Tiger. And hides in here and sleeps all day. <laughs> so that's about it. That was the serious tour. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And we'll see you in the next episode. And by the way, I made a lovely shot of the sundown last evening. So I'm going to let you enjoy that while we end this episode. Goodbye. <laughs>